Okay, so hi everyone. I think I don't know if we can see how many people are in the the session or not, but um, welcome everyone that's here. My name is Justin. Um, most of you probably know me, but only thing that's maybe worth noting is I've been involved with ComOps on and off for the last five years, um, and most of the things I do in ComOps are more of the non-engineering side of things. Although I have done a little bit of code and metrics work time to time, just not a lot. I'll pass it to Alberto. Okay, um, I'm Alberto. Uh, I'm from Mexico. Uh, I love the metrics, uh, work with data, and also I'm contributing to the Fedora project with ComOps. I love ComOps. It's my first group where I start in the Fedora project. Nice. And also, is this the first time that I lead a workshop, maybe? Uh, hacking session or whatever this is, is this. Um, I'm I also very shy. Uh, I need to practice more my English, so I maybe I will be a little uh, uh, I will not be the, the better speaker, but I will try to help in everything we need to do here. And also, I want to do this, uh, this session. Uh, I I always see a lot of, of data from the Fedora project about the community. I would like to show to the project all the, the fantastic uh, stats we have by example, for the diversity team, I don't know who they do the uh, amazing word with, I only see maybe 10, ten persons uh, uh, working and had a, a lot of impact in the project. It's amazing. So mm -hmm. uh, another part, the packagers, um, we need more, but he do also an amazing word, uh, general, uh, packaging a lot of software. And also we need to show to the project, the work. Um, and they, in general, the community of Fedora is very diverse. So I want to show that but I don't know what topic to choice is is my my first impression we need to choice a, a topic about this first um, a com block entry makes sense so mm -hmm. I have a few ideas on maybe ways to start the conversation maybe just before we jump into that nasir did you want to introduce yourself really quick too for everyone okay so i'm nasir osan i'm relatively really new to uh, new to fedora than alberto or justin uh, i work with the fedora joint team in order to improve the newcomer experience with fedora and working on some core OS stuff and some other diversity and inclusion and a little bit of com ops. So I would be participating in the workshop today. Awesome. Super. So Alberto, maybe before we talk about the mm -hmm. questions to ask, do you want to on screen share show the maps that you've already made and maybe talk about or introduce the GOFP Fedora community stats tool really quick? Just so that way we'll all be on the same page. Yeah, of course. Um, cool. Let me show you. Mm -hmm. I was just looking at, I opened the maps on a new tab and I was like, whoa, they're actually clickable. This is really cool. <laughs> Documents and GFP here. 
I do some uh, our, uh, community. Yeah. Yeah, they are. Uh, uh, this map is for um, all the community, uh, all the active community using the uh, using um, a daytime from the January 1st of this year. So everyone was not using the uh, every login platform uh, or, or fast platform or, or the fast account in some side of the Fedora project is don't count because he, if we count all, we call the filtering, we get all the accounts of the Fedora project is a lot of accounts, more of the, of, I'll say I, 10,000 more. But active people were by example on mm, Pakistan. Uh, we oh, had um, 20 active from January 1st, no? I don't actually. I don't know what the people are doing, but I know I know they are active. So it's one one of the filters. Other filters can be from by simple, um, by by growth. I we have the ambassadors. Uh, by example, um, Germany had. 22. Uh, I, I can view all the the data in the maps. It's, it's cool. Uh, hmm. We can do many, many other filters for the data. Actually, the principal data source is the, the FAST system. So on one of the the purpose of this session is also um, make uh, some wrappers for the new free IPA implementation of the authentication on Fedora. Okay. But, so uh, just for maintain this kind of, of, of stats, we need also combine new data source like Data Gripper, Fedora Messaging, to get more accurate uh, filters about activity, groups, uh, I don't know, commits from a particular repo or, or, I don't know, many people want to see who, where is the people that help in some part of the project. It's, this is cool. Uh, Looking at the code, uh, is very simple actually. Uh, is this is this not? Is this? As it uh, is mostly a Python class. At first, we think in on it uh, like a Python class because we can use to develop more software over that class. So, I don't know if it is fine to see that. In, 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 it looks fine. Um, oh, I need what to is yeah. oh, what maybe. is the yeah. source for um, activity? Like, what what gets somebody to appear on the map for any of these? 
uh, by example, we load the the data from uh, the, fa the fast by, by example by row. This mm. method here uh, get the so you're mm -hmm. you're hitting yeah. fast and not fed message, right? Right. Okay. Because fed messages don't have had information about the user doing some activity, but don't mm. have the geographical localization or the, uh, what is this, is the, um, the, who is, uh, the country code of the, of the account. So we actually use it, the country code. Also, we have a some some other geographical information like um, is is the give me a minute. Uh, oh, what's happening? Uh, let me what is happening here. Where is my where 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 is okay? I choose by example the advocates. I say okay. Um I don't see the Oh, yeah, I see what you mean. The screen is uh oh is that it i think it said it's minimized in the corner there see the yeah. tiny window <laughs> i don't see the tiny window it is go what? hit the super key oh. up right oh. yeah <laughs> so tiny <That's> happening. okay <laughs> <laughs> it is by its simple oh the ambassadors oh we have the time zone, this is important. Mm -hmm. Also, we have uh, longitude and latitude of if we prefer, if we get that data from the fast account, is good. We can, by example, generate maps from maybe the open street maps API and and get the position of the people where it's simple for a flock. Okay. This will, will be cool if we need to uh, follow one of the or partners by example when we, we go to the party. Well, it's just an idea. Yeah, I guess my I have two questions. Come on. One about the new authentication stuff with Fedora Infra. I was just wondering, have you have you followed that? Do you know if that will break a lot of what you're doing now, or will it still work? I I don't know. Uh, mostly, all the code will work because most of the fields that I use in the fast account system will be ported to the new free IPA uh, implementation. So we don't have too much problem with that, only need to Super. Uh, change the, uh, how to get the data from, from, from the new free IPA will be a rest up, in, I think, yes a free uh, recipe from from the frame so mostly i don't know i don't need all the information also by example uh, by example I, for the maps i only need the country code maybe the longitude the, the, the latitude the time zone is important and some others um, daytime based uh, information like, for example, by by example, the creation, the status change, and the last thing, uh, fields looks great mm. because I can by example determine ah if some account is 
it, you use it no is is um, is not tip inactive mm -hmm. for some time last scene mm -hmm. is that the last login or the last the login? last edit last login okay it's the last login in one of the fedora project plat platforms like i don't know oh anywhere I not just yeah. fast not just fast uh, it's by, by example on um, Pagure, on um, uh, webplate um i did not I thought it was just fast. Every, by uh, example, uh, ask, ask Fedora to oh, every uh, system that use actually the fast account to, for authentication uh, impl uh, implicitly, implicitly change that uh, field. So we can more or less be accurate if some, someone don't log in for the ayer is maybe he is not active so we use that field for uh, filtering active people also we have um, um where is a active fail in the fast that means when someone says okay i want to Make it inactive, make inactive my account. We have the, the field to a status. So mm -hmm. we have a lot of active from, from there. So more or less. And that's something is, that someone changes themselves. That's yeah. not an automated. Yeah, that's not automated. So we have to, uh, let me go to the code. Okay, uh, here, list. By example, when if active date is known, it's different to none. Uh, I take mm. all the lessons and check if the status is inactive because if someone recently put the set the status in not active inactive pues okay. oh, i don't need to count in the active group in the active right. members of the groups no so super this is very very simple we only get the data from the fast uh, the fast system is very easy. We need user and pass. That is, this come from a configuration file. So uh, we do the the normal uh, translation. That that from I think is come from. Uh, I think it's a JSON, but I only take the, it, I treat it like a dictionary, uh, do some uh, conversion by example to date, date time for uh, for some, for, for the last in field. Uh, yeah, I, I do some filtering if necessary, subsetting the, by the date and return uh, the data the data this data is a pandas data frame so we can do a lot of, of things about that no by example uh, we can do a lot of plots um, uh, also we can save it for in a, a, a comma separated values file and a lot of things is this make, make the class very useful because we can use the data frame in another in another uh, code very easily. Okay, um, 
by example, all Fedorians is where I don't succeed in nothing from from groups or or by country. I only get all the members of the Fedora project and uh, okay. plot the, the data. It's very okay. So one thing I have a question about. I think I I think I understand the tool better now. Um, mm. My question to you, which I think will help us figure out the hack session agenda and focus, if you could have one thing added or improved to this tool, what what would be that thing? Like, what would be one thing to make? Um, what would be like your 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 dream goal for like one year from now with that tool? I will say, mm. <laughs> mm. big question. <laughs> yeah, what <good> question? <laughs> I want to the uh, about the code. I think the our first or uh, goal is make it compatible with the new FREPA implementation. But uh, mm -hmm. we have the problems. I we don't have a FREPA implementation working uh, accessible to. And so this is not Can the you repeat one more time. I did not catch that. Okay, uh, we okay. don't have uh, the infrastructure of the free by implement new implementation of the okay. authentication ready to use. I think at last mm -hmm. yesterday I heard the the presentation about it and will be. Uh, Available, available to in a month more or less. So, I think the second thing we can do is improve our plots. Uh, we had plots, by example, we all all the the plots, the world maps can I generate comes from ST plot to world. As a plotly and generate the skin of of, of, of maps. This um, mm. I, I I want to make it um, more customizable for the external user of the class. By example, I have hard code this that data and layout. Um, but so by example, if the people likes more the other tip other type of the of map, by example, um, who is the name of this is 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 Mm. or want to do some like uh, plot only Asia or North America or Africa, we can do that. But in this, in this case, with this code, with no, because it's hard code that's part. So also the color is changed. Is to the whole world. It's pre-configured to worldwide. Yeah, we can change the views by example. Um, uh, we support um, um, world, okay, internet, Europe, Europe, Asia, Africa, North America, and South America. So maybe for some kind of plots, is better have a by example a. Asia will be great because uh, we had a lot of contribute 
the contributors in Asia. Um, so we can change for one of these values, the part of the of the type and also the type of the projection is, is could be good a choice another by example um, Mercator. I think Mercator is a kind of of, of type of projection is uh so i have a question regarding maps here alberto come on uh, i hear you uh, so uh which library are you using to generate those maps like is it uh, just in order that is hard coded so which one is it like are you using have you created your own maps uh, library or sort of thing or are you using something else oh uh, actually, I have. Uh, let me go again. I, I love the Plotly library for the maps, but also I have big out. So we can do some or, or more uh, methods for different kinds of of libraries for plotting the world, the maps, but. Uh, uh, or maybe uh, get an interface or or use it heritage for for generating new kind of maps is we if we want we want to use some new uh, form of plot the uh, our data is fine I'm very I will be very happy to see more kind of of maps here. Mm -hmm. Oh, also okay. I I will be fantastic use more uh, Jupyter notebooks. Okay. Because help a lot for working with data for presentation or or, or like documents will be great. Actually, plot word to works with notebooks works fine but this is the only uh, method that works in notebooks right now so we mostly need not worry in that okay got it so got i it. have a up, or, sorry wait this here did you have a question or was nope. that it okay nope nope so i have two ideas from everything I've seen here um, of what we could could do for the next few months around the metrics conversation. I think when we talk about metrics, it'll help us if we can come up with some big picture goals now, because I don't know, we used to do this more in 2015 and 2016 when we were doing more metrics work but it has a long time has passed since we were focusing on that. So the two ideas of maybe short term goals that we could do as metrics goals related to GOFP, like one thing I think would be cool would be to automate one map. Any, it could be any map, but what I mean is um, automating it. So like once a month or once a week at this web, web page URL, um this map gets updated regularly so we could say for example the ambassador map we could use that as maybe a way for places we want to make sure we get representation for in the revamp for example mm. you know i'm just thinking out loud mm, i don't know good. this but say um we have uh you know 60 ambassadors who are in Bangladesh, and most of them haven't done anything for a couple years, but used to be very active once we dig into the data, maybe we want to message them and uh, ask for their help um, in, in the ambassador rework. Um, that, that would be the goal, I think, of like maybe one map if we wanted to choose like the ambassador map or the advocates map, that could be maybe a small enough 
goal that it wouldn't mm -hmm. be too hard to do. And I see that uh, same question about the infra team. <laughs> yeah. Um, so I'll come back to that in a second. The second idea that I had was I know in the text chats and on Telegram before this session, we were talking a lot about the DNI data and ways mm -hmm. that we could work with the DNI team on this. Um, I think if we can figure out what a, what is a useful DNI map, and even if that's not automated, that's fine. But make a DNI map based on feedback from from the DNI team about what would be useful to the map. And I feel like those two things might be easy enough that we could like work towards that over the next few months. Because I know everyone, all of us, I think in this, there's four of us. I think all four of us are all volunteers. So <laughs> yeah, um, sounds cool. The automation <laughs> piece with the inv yeah, the DNI stuff is not easy. That's why I think it wouldn't be like a one week thing. It'd be a couple months of figuring out what makes sense and what yep. doesn't. Um, the infrastructure question of who uh, Justin, hosts if this you would and like, where does it? I go. Ahead. Sorry, uh, I would like to answer that question, the infra one, because go for it. I would like. Can you hear me now? Yeah. So um, in a in the past mindshare meetings, I've been, uh, we were talking about hosting the Lime research thing, and uh, we um, I believe it was Nick Bibut who asked that uh, Fedora's uh, infra team is having a lot of services to maintain and currently actively developing that. So what they can arrange is a uh, AWS instance, which we can uh, provision according to our needs. And that was for the context of Lime survey, but I'm pretty sure if you would request something like uh, uh, AWS instance, which we would be maintaining, that would be much easier to get our hands on and get started with automating that in the pipeline. Sounds right. What do you think? That makes a lot of sense to me. The one thing I think might be a sticky point is what data gets saved. So I know this was what happened to Community mm. Shift and what kind of sunk that ship um, for now. <laughs> Uh, was that there was personal <laughs> identifying data and GDPR became Ooh. this concern. So not that that's made it impossible, but it's made it the challenge a lot harder about what kinds of things can run yeah. in Fedora infrastructure. So thinking yeah. about that, this makes me think is that yeah. option one would be if we can be sure that no data beyond the map, like no personal data, no emails, no latitude, longitude is saved to a oh. name or an email address. If that okay. info is not stored on the server, I think it'll be easier for us to work with the infra team to do an AWS instance or whatever. Um, as long as someone is basically the concern, I think for us is really someone to pay the bill more so than it is anything else. It doesn't matter where it is as long as it's it's there when we need it. Um, so I think that is that approach makes a lot of sense to me. We'll probably have to work with the team. It might be more work than I thought it was going to be. Um, I, I don't know. Maybe you maybe it makes more sense to you, or maybe we have to think about the data piece a little bit. Because I don't know if this tool doesn't look like yeah. it was really made for automation, um, like something you'd automate a map once a week kind of thing. Um, so maybe, uh, it's a nice idea, but given that they work locally, I'm, I'm kind of backtracking a little bit. Like I'm thinking maybe it's a good idea, but we come back to it once we figure out the DNI map first, maybe, um, okay. what do you think? Yeah. That's also, uh, just as a comment, we can, uh, the map is just a HTML file. So maybe Fedora people hosted will be fine for a simple html file we until we get some more uh, dedicated cost it broke up for me a little bit could you say that one more time oh okay i i say 
the the maps are only HTML files, so we can host it in Fedora people. We call no much mm. problem. Uh, mm. They use a hit uh, a git implementation backgrounds for some things. I I yeah, I don't know. Uh, I, so I like we that can idea. I like that a lot. We can use that for upload the the maps every week. Oh, and a lot of maps because it's become very simple because it's only a HTML file. Basically run the script, get the map and upload it to Fedora people. Yeah. Yeah. Nice. That, that I think uh, would work. I but, think it'd still be some manual uh, work, but it's doable. Yeah. Sorry, go ahead, Nasir. I would like to add one thing here. Uh, basically, the concern you raised about the data would still persist in the Fedora people thing. So I believe that's an, that's the thing that we need to look at. What data we save on the maps or... Does the HTML files have identifying info like names or emails in it? Or is it just like heat maps? Basically, that's Only... the question we have to answer. Does the map have like a name or an email address? They the only file? use the, um, the country codes of the account, so we don't have any other data from the users. It's, I think it's safe use and publish it because hurting any feeling about the privacy. Mm -hmm. Looking at the Plotly source now, and it's like super simple. It's silly simple javascript code like it's just taking the country <laughs> codes like you said and yes account so that would be totally fine to put on fedora well i guess i should say i am not a lawyer and this does not constitute financial or legal hmm. advice but i am legal pretty sure famous. this is not <laughs> okay <laughs> <laughs> I am pretty sure that Fedora people is not going to be a problem. We'll probably want to maybe um, mention to the council that we're doing it just to make sure it's uh, hmm. we're not stepping on any toes or anything with data, but I'm pretty sure we'll be okay to do the run it locally where the data is, take the HTML file, upload that to Fedora people. That makes sense. Okay. Yeah. Um, hmm. So, oh, that my 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 hop in chat just crashed. So it's telling me I have to refresh the page. Um, I guess I'll be I'll be right back. Oh. Uh, I believe I have it here. So, Alberto, um, I'm currently forking the wrapper and gonna clone it in a bit. So, I'm gonna clone it now. Okay, uh, that was weird. Um, now I see uh, all of these and the Sears messages. So, <laughs> um, So, okay, so I'm just going to think out loud really quick. So we've got about one hour left for the hack session. Um, I'm wondering, do we want to talk about the DNI maps a little bit first? Or yeah. do we want to um, hack a little, like actually do some hacking? Like we don't have to, um, if we want to do some like uh, uh, live ed like code editing too, we could do some of that. Um, oh, we were going to talk about a com blog post. Actually, that was one thing too. Um, so I guess I guess that's the question I'm asking: is do we want to do like a silent breakout for a little bit? Like I could I could work on a com blog post, and then we could do some work on the metrics, or do we want to talk about the DNI data first? Okay, we we can talk about the DNA data first. Yeah, yeah. Cool. Hey B, mm -hmm. you want to hop on audio if you're around? You don't have to, but it would help if you're there. Hey. <laughs> Hello. So, Hello, B. Hello. So I'm just trying to <laughs> sleep in my bed. 
and yeah to the meeting so i'm going to turn off my video but yes i'll be here <laughs> okay that's fine <laughs> So I guess the, the open question is, um, actually, Alberto, on your screen, could you put the, um, the DNI map you have so far? I guess the um, questions we can start asking is what would be, what would be useful for the DNI team in terms of what data is available and where we want to start with that. Um, I just have one quick question for Alberto before that. How long does the GOFP test script take to run, Alberto? It just says go for a coffee. I have a coffee. I don't, <laughs> no. <laughs> don't, don't take a lot. Uh, a lot. Use, uh, when I write that code, I have a low internet connection. So look like. Uh -huh take hours for me but actually uh, my work uh, now in my home in my home is mm -hmm. pretty fast i think maybe three minutes if three minutes no, three minutes mm -hmm. maybe it's okay. stuck i don't know <laughs> i think oh uh, let me we definitely need, need some logging here or uh, some practice so uh, I don't think you need a uh, fast login for the basic yeah. stuff. Like unless you are fetching like group info, you don't need it just for the activity. Uh, so I'm just doing the one without the login. B. Oh, can you not hear uh, me? B, I was thinking about logging. Uh, I was um, thinking about logging. L O W T I N G. Okay. <laughs> Sorry. Ah <laughs> uh, yes. We don't have any logging here, I think. No. So what did we decide from the three options with Justin presented? So I think we're going to talk mm. a little bit about the DNI data. And this is the map that Alberto just That's pulled up on the screen. Okay. So this is I guess okay. our this is our, our team um, based on whether <laughs> One thing that's always the caveat in this data, I always have to remember, is it mm -hmm. depends on you actually manually entering your latitude and longitude into FAS, which is totally not obvious. Um, mm -hmm. I think, right? Or is it time zone? Is that wrong? In, is it time, it's time zone and country, as for, far as I know. For this one, it's only the the country that you set in your FAS account. So it's very... Oh, okay. If you move from, I don't know, from India to UK, maybe you actually looks like an Indian node in UK because you need to change manually your fast account to point to the new country. So, um, so yeah. there's some risk of it being outdated, but it's better than latitude longitude. That's that's good to know. I'm glad I asked. <laughs> yeah. So I guess maybe the question I'm going to ask B is um, if it makes sense for us mm -hmm. to look at our team or if we want to look more broadly at like a specific fast group that might be of interest to the DNI team. Um, mm -hmm. That's what I'm trying to think about. Um, I think like we can start a bit small, like, at <laughs> least in the beginning. Mm. In and I think it's more like better to have like a defined like two, three defined questions and just look at them first rather than thinking like how do we want like rather than making a roadmap and saying yes we want to target this area or that area. So just like specifically define what exactly we want to see and then we can scale that upwards. thinking out loud just that makes me think like it'd be super interesting just to get a map of our fedora women's day organizers mm. or even events mm. um that's interesting just because then we could know like where do we have active local communities and then we could ask like oh well every year there's a a community in lima that does fedora women's day for the last three years and mm. are they doing other things in the project or maybe we could try to bring them in in other ways or 
nominate someone for Mindshare from there because wow, there's a lot of people from there. Like, you know, yeah. just ideas. So the Fedora Women's Day idea look, sounds great. I think we 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 oh change map. map. Oh if we have a list of all the um, the organizers of the Fedora Women's Day, maybe we can plot something similar for this. Uh, 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 a question about Fedora Women's Day is how are we going to know that Fedora Women's Day was organized in that specific country or location because we won't be having that information in FAST or there would be Pegura tickets but we are not sure that those Pegura tickets were completed or we have had those sessions. What do you so think? Of, um, I I might be able to answer that. It's not a great answer, but it's a better answer. Um, mm -hmm. Yesterday, Nikhil on our team emailed me the FWD 29 feedback form, where if I remember right, we did ask for FAS ID, but I think I remember like there were there were 90 responses to that survey, and I think 10 FAS IDs, which were usually the organizers. Um, maybe okay. we could have a manually, like a, maybe a config file for now. Like if we want to think about how to make this work, you could maybe put fast ID usernames as like special group or local group and manually list fast IDs in a config file list or something, and then use that, um, um, where was my screen? Oh, to look at like. That would be our answer. How do we get the Fedora Women's Day data? Like we'd have to manually collect who our organizers are. But say we get a list of 10 fast usernames where we're saying like, hey, yeah. here are our 10 Fedora Women Day organizers. Um, and then map go from there once we have fast IDs. What do you think? That sounds like a better. Uh, Alberto. I can hear some background voice at your side. Uh, that sounds weird, Justin. Like we can get those path IDs from the feedback form and run that to a GeoFP and get those demographic. Uh, uh, mm, maybe the more easy thing is uh, collecting country codes for all the Fedora Women's Day um, was organized and we can, we could use uh, fast icons. It will be very easy to change some code to plot this, uh, this map only with the country. Of the, of the organizers? Yeah. Mm. I like good. that. I like that idea. And building on that is like a future thing. So if maybe we want to start with mapping local. I'm typing in the Etherpad notes, by the way. Let me put okay. that link back in the um, the chat so folks can find it. Um, uh, so we could start by mapping local FWD organizers and understand where they are after we could probably build on that and look at entire countries um, where FWD events happen. And then we could maybe try to dig some insight of like, well, let's look at October of every year in Chile because there's two Fedora Women's Days in Chile in October. And maybe we'll see like, oh, here's a spike in new contributor registrations or new Fed message. Like we can start to ask deeper questions later. Um, but mm. I like that. I, I like the idea of starting with just mapping the local organizers, even if it's just like five accounts, because we can build on it. We can we can keep iterating. So I, I love this idea. I think it, the challenge to me sounds like white list or, or no, not white. That's probably not the right word anyways. But um, starting with a custom list of like five or six accounts 
and making a method for a manually shared list of fast IDs. What do you think? I think I'm not sure of having a list of fast IDs. Like, I mean, I know that we did like a batch before for Fedora Women's Day. So maybe something mm. like the oh, attendee that's... batch. So they can just that is actually probably get the bad. badge and but I know also know that like one of the problems with the badge was like the organizers like forgot to award it or like they didn't get awarded somehow. So they just got awarded in like one of the FWDs in Tirana, but like other organizers didn't. So I'm not sure if it was because the badge was late or if they faced any issues. So maybe we also need to talk to organizers first if they think this badge idea is feasible or not. The one thing that's really cool about the badge data is we can also group it into years, which yeah. is something we can't yeah. do. I can just linked the FWD 17 badge, which was claimed by 32 people. Um, and then we only have two badges, actually. There's, there, we didn't do one in 2019, I guess. Um, the 2018 one was claimed 15 times, which that was the one. Yeah, it looks like it was really just Rochester. The but we do have all the organizers there. Actually, I do see all of oh. the organizers, people who proposed events. Yeah. Um, in the 2018, oh, no. probably a couple of these are attendees, but yeah. I see so, you Ona here. So if they didn't create a fast account at even the event but like had one after maybe we need to do something like some form later where they can also put their like get the badge or just some feedback form after event where they yeah, have so time to create the fast a, that's a great point because uh, as we're getting ready to talk about fedora women's day planning tomorrow we can make sure that we we think about these things when uh working with our our local organizers so that that's a really great point it's not just going to be a data piece here right because we're starting you know the data piece might be starting with our manual list of organizers but yeah we should think a little harder about ways to collect better data or data that will help us avoid pitfalls um so, so I, I like the I idea think, of badges and yeah sorry go ahead yeah i think there was also this discussion about what platform we will use to conduct the virtual Fedora Women's Day. So if we are doing something like just the hop-in platform for Fedora Women's Day again, so then I think it, it will just be easier to collect this feed, like the feedback forms and the data, right? And we can also do polls in there. So even after the event is over, we can get some more data. That makes sense. So I, I think I need to do a minute break. Um, I don't know if we want to pause for a moment or if you all want to keep going, but I'm going to I'm going to jump off just for five minutes just to refresh. Um, I I think when we come, maybe if we want, I don't know if we want to break or not, but I was just thinking um, the thing that might be helpful to drive towards for the last little bit is what our next steps will be over the next month or two, because I think we've got some good ideas that we talked about this yeah. last hour. So I think we can talk about how to make it happen. But anyways, I'm going to jump off for a little bit. I will be back at 10 after. So in like seven-ish minutes. Okay. So, okay. Oh, I'm going to jump off for two minutes as well. I'm going to fetch something or some Nimco to eat. So. Mm -hmm. I'll be here, but I will be away. Okay. Hey Alberto, hey Yona. Are you here? Or are yeah. you? Yeah. I'm here. Okay. How are you doing these days? <laughs> I was actually running the. So I was running your scripts on my computer right now, but I think Data Grepper is a bit slow. So it's taking some time to collect the data. 
but yeah i will just see how long it takes and the other thing is that like i don't have like the plugins installed so i cannot uh, use the fast api to fetch as well but yes i will try and hopefully i can support you with some like jupyter notebook let's see i see do you know if it's possible to do um i mean i think you need a fedora desktop always right to do it like to have the fast client can you do it on another os alberto Maybe he's not here. Yeah, I think the red. He also went away. Was his connection was breaking for a while? I can ask him later. Yeah. Hi, man. What about you? How are you doing? Uh, fine. <laughs> Just in Prague now, waiting for you to come and visit. <laughs> oh, really? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, we were just discussing like what um, DNI metrics we want to collect, and one idea was that we can try to plot all the Federal Women's Day, like uh, on the global map, mm -hmm. and then once we have this plot, like after some months after the event, we can try to see the activities in this region, so in this country, mm -hmm. basically, if it jumped or like what happened, based on. So to basically count the impact of the event. Mm -hmm. Actually, actually, that's a good point because uh, it was a point that we added on the agenda for Fedora Women's Day. Mm -hmm. That uh, because you know, like we had some metrics that we were gathering after the event, but making like sure that we have exact metrics because, as we said, the badge, for example, they either forgot to. Yeah. Uh, awarded or sometime they said that, for example, people didn't have uh, their FAS account and sometime, for example, they didn't have internet at the location, so they had to create one later, but they didn't have a contact uh, of them. So, yeah, like making sure that we don't skip this or how to make sure that all the tenants will have it and so on. So. Do you know? Do you have an idea if we will use the same Hopin platform again, or like will yes. every organizer? Okay, so if we use this platform, I think it will be easier to collect this data because yeah, everybody I... will be online and like logging mm -hmm. in, right? Yeah. Uh, last time that I spoke with Marie, we thought to use this platform, but I will catch up later with her after Flock because now she was uh, doing Flock. Mm -hmm. so, but I believe yes, we will use this one. Yeah, because I think the problems we face with like offline events of not having internet and also like of like data collection that will be reduced if we have like a uniform platform and we'll have it in one place. Also, I think Marie might attend our session tomorrow. I'm not sure. Yeah. We That's, can ask her then. But I, I really believe that we will use this platform and uh, mm -hmm. yeah, it will be good for us. But I'm not sure uh, the exact data that we will get. I guess we can get their email addresses, but I'm not 100% sure. But we can see. Yeah, I mean, even if we have their email address, we can like send them a link to get the badge or like and then um, or like uh, the organizer can award the badge if they just create an uh, account right so we can send them an email on the email address like if you fill this feedback survey we can award you a badge or something like that mm -hmm. yeah like, but i think it will be way better this time because yeah, yeah. it will be online and we will have their data at least. Also, I was thinking we could like have create some fun polls or like give some examples of fun polls to organizers and that like we are doing right now in Nest. 
and that will be even like more fun for the attendees as well instead of just you know the session mm -hmm. so what exactly you mean so like um we have this calls on yeah. the talk right on nest basically right now so we can do some polls like that for the fedora women's day attendees as well and yeah. we will have some more data yeah definitely uh, we can prepare some questions beforehand and we can have it there yeah i think there are many things that we can do with the platform so mm -hmm. so we will have i think a lot more data at least for fedora women's day than before yeah. we should just think when we get back to in person how we will do it but i guess with uh, online one it will be way but easier. i think even with in person if we have just like it, because we don't do any event registration sort of thing before mm -hmm. if we do like event bright or some platform for like event registration and like sell free tickets so we can collect you know just the email addresses and that that way we can get feedback yeah uh, it was only that we uh, left this part uh, up to the local organizers yeah so yeah but i think point. we also learn over time right yeah but we can definitely like the best of platform to them and they can create it yeah. Okay. Yeah. but we have time at least until next year mm -hmm. uh excuse me people that i'm eating no no way i eat in most of my meetings with you na <laughs> Yeah, I was just about to say I'm surprised that V is not eating. <laughs> <laughs> no, I was. I'm done with it. I ate a lot. And did you bake the cake? No, I was not baking a cake. I was making like trying to make an Indian dessert basically. But I think I underestimated how much. I want effort. to eat that. What? Ah, you want, you want to I want to eat that. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> Have that in. I want to eat that. But it's I, not yet finished, uh, or what happened? Be because uh, this that session was just before this, right? So I just left it midway for this session. Ah, oh, okay. <laughs> oh. Yeah, I mean, it's basically like it takes a lot of time to cook. I think. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> so, are you showing the data, Alberto? What are you? Uh, I'm getting some sort of error. Uh, with request. I think we have Fedora here, but uh, when I'm when I'm trying to install the Fedora package from Pip, uh, it's resulting in some error. Which OS do you have? You have? Are you working on Fedora or no? Yep, it's Fedora thirty two. Hmm. Just why don't you clone it from the Git repo and? uh what uh the packing package or i thought you had some issues with the fast package right yep so just clone it from the git repo instead of doing this mm, any so where does that repo live i think need fast It's in Fedora in Fraf Fast. I will send you a link. Ah, uh, that's really helpful. Uh, Justin's back. Hello, Justin. Hey. 
So Alberto is doing some changes, which I think looks awesome. Is the same data with uh, another projection? I use. Pro oh. Uh, <laughs> with the projection, so it looks fine. It's beautiful, I think. Hmm. From Venezuela, Tatica. I think. Yes. Probably for our team. Yeah. Or maybe Luis? No, I'm not sure where he is. L Luis also is Actually, from Venezuela, but he's living mm. in Czech and Chile right now. I think. So. Oh. Who could that one be? Who could that one be? Hmm. So, so, do we want to pick back up on the discussion about, about the next couple weeks or months for GOFP metrics work? So, we are done with the DNI discussion? Or I think done with it, but just figuring out what what the action items are to start making it happen. So let's finish that section first. And then we can talk about action items for GOSP one. Right? Hmm. About the F FWD and, and GOSP, yeah. right? Yeah. So okay. let's finish yeah. the that's, FWD. That's so what I'm thinking is so if we're mapping out next steps for the DNI maps um, we're going to want to collect a list of fast usernames of people who once organized who ever organized who organized in the last year do we want to we want to put whoever a organized on. is good like we can have that by the ticket right like the time stamp the year and yep. the location so we'll start with anyone who ever organized oh then justin are you eating something i am i've got a <laughs> me too nuts and chocolate and raisins and walnuts so. Mm. That's making it's gonna make me miss the candy swap even more about flock. Ah. <laughs> I miss all the Indian food. I've got nimble. <laughs> so I see someone's working on Yeah, it's me. Uh no, oh, okay. I thought Justin had to use the name. So I'm, I think we're looking at the the either pad as well. Mm -hmm. I'll drop the link in there. One more time. So collecting the net, collecting the usernames, collaborating with the DNI team. On the GOFP side, I think we're going to need a way to just map to create a uh, list of another section, please, for GOFP. And not the huh? don't put it in okay. the DNI map. Hmm. But I mean, isn't it 
Isn't the GOFP part of the DNI map since we're using GOFP to is this? the map. DNI map? But it's also for broader use, right? Okay, cool. Yep. True, yeah, but I guess the, the conversation is how can we make this tool more useful to the DNI team as kind of like a use case, a more practical use case. Okay. Because I think the challenge is like we've had this tool and it's really cool and there's definitely a lot of great things we can do with it, but how do we do those great things? But I think, I think a, Alberto also wanted like a few other things with the GOFP, which are not related to the DNI map, like updating mm -hmm. the plots, like the arguments, stuff like more technical things. So. Yeah, there's some of that I think in the either pad under that goals future dream section. The only thing I'd want to put under the DNI map, mm -hmm. which I I gotta look at Alberto on this one. Um, is there an easy way to process um, a list of users, or does that does that new functionality does that have to be written? In what? In GOFP. Like, say, if we give GOFP six usernames, can it map six usernames? Um, oh, I just realized he's not in the video share. Um, so he, he is. You know, I mean, I think there is that functionality. There is this thing called by group function. I think you give it, or you give it the group name. So yeah, I it's don't probably think a fast group. Yeah. We don't have a fast oh. group for Fedora Women's Day. But I don't know. How about having one? Yeah. We could make one. Is, uh, I just Albert. wonder, is it better? Sorry, go ahead, Albert. Yes, is the Fedora fast growth by, uh, the by growth function? I need to do better comments. The one thing I don't like about new fast groups is when you make a new fast group, someone also has to maintain the fast group, which traditionally we're not very good at in Fedora. So that's the one thing I'm, I'm cautious about is do we want to make a fast group? Does that actually make it easier? Or is it easier if we just have a list of users and do it that way? Mm. What makes more sense? That makes sense. More easy is generate a fast group because I don't, we don't need don't need another thing but i think we can use the uh, make a, a function and take a list of fast users um do the same is we it will be very easy to implement and give it and give you give use us a better functionality and more uh, more fun for another uh, uh, data source. I think also like that functionality is sort of like written by Alberto already. You just need to break it into another smaller function, perhaps. It seems it looked like to me in the code too. So that's cool. Okay. So bringing it back to our steps. So we're going to collect the list of fast usernames, work with the DNI team for the FWD 2020, which is probably going to be a conversation about badges and how we do that. Um, the GOFP side is just making sure that we can take a list of fast usernames. So that way, once we know who our local organizers are, we can map them. And I feel like that's going to be a lot for the next few months. That, yep. And I think that would be enough for like, once we do those things, then we could check in and be like, then figure out what makes sense to do next. Um, mm. What do you all think? Yep. Mm -hmm. I thought we were also measuring about the attendees, right? So maybe we can measure something mm. like to do more with the f attendees the challenge that we had before just realized when i looked i was super excited because mikhail sent me that spreadsheet and then i opened it and i realized that where there were 93 responses and i had five fast usernames so fast usernames are not oh. always a great metric for attendees 
because not everyone registers an account. And sometimes they even do it. Like I remember I've seen people who are like, I went to a Fedora Women's Day a year ago. And then I signed up a year later because I had I decided I was going to do something in Fedora. Um, so fast is just a tricky thing with events. But I guess that's what we'd talk about probably tomorrow. Um, yeah. yeah, I think we just can... like, uh, what? Uh, I was just going. Go on. Go on. Uh, no, sorry. I was just going to say that Yona and I were discussing this before uh, when you were all on break and we were like, since probably since most probably will use the hop in platform this year, maybe we can just send an email afterwards to all the attendees and say like, uh, you can get this batch since you have already attended and people might sign up if they get an email like that. But I agree with your point. Thing to do with the global level. I mm. agree. But can we also... So I'm out of Nimco now. Go ahead, Yona. Uh, I was saying that maybe we can add also another way to get some data, not only from the files. Like, for example, we will have the exact number of the people that will be attending uh, because we can see how many people will be live. And we can uh, also see uh, from which city will be joining. I mean, it depends uh, which federal women day, local one, they will participate and things like that. So maybe like this year, it will be a bit easier in this part. Yeah, we can do polls in the hop in thing. Yeah. And we can collect data in mm. real time instead of waiting for after. Uh, has changed my my thought about collecting feedback and how to do surveys. I've loved some of these uh, <laughs> these polls that have come up, and so easy. There's there's a, a huge convenience bias, but at the same time, it's still a convenience bias of people who are very fedora. <laughs> <laughs> So I'm all for it, at least to start. Hmm. So I believe we have a, a lot of things uh, to work on for the next uh, month or so, months or so. So I believe like we can focus more on uh, how are we gonna do that for some time, if we have time. My first thought is we should try to put a name on each of those next steps in the etherpad. Um, so collecting a list of fast usernames. Well, the second one, that's something that'll probably happen post uh, FWD planning session. Um, I think the DNI team, because me and B and Yona and, and Nasir Actually, all of us are technically, I think, on the DNI team. So, <laughs> um, uh, so we, I don't think we have to worry too much about how that collaboration will look, given that we're all um, pretty tapped in there. Um, so my thought is I could work with the DNI team. I could lead the work on collecting fast usernames of folks who have organized in the past. Um, and then that's just something I could do. I could get that into a spreadsheet or whatever makes sense. And I guess probably the GOFP work would probably make sense for Alberto to do um, since he's most hands-on with that right now. One thing I think would also be interesting to experiment with while we do this is trying to bring new contributors to GOFP. Um, so I'd, I'd also love, maybe not right now, but maybe in future meetings and come ups or, or, or planning discussions for this, um, we can talk more about small improvements and things that would be like good first issues for GOFP. Right? Mm -hmm. Oops, Alberto comes in and comes out sometimes. I don't know. Don't know. If you uh, I can see. I can still see the screen share. Yeah, I can see a screen share too. I just. I think. I, I think the screen share is separate from his audio and video. I think it's just his screen. 
which is kind of weird. Ooh. But... So uh, that's um, actually a nice idea that we want people to get con to get started with GeoFP. Currently, don't have any. Uh, or let me first ensure that what I'm saying is right. So I'm not sure if we have any good first issues there. We have. Uh, like the, the yeah no I don't know do we <laughs> that sounds too so we have some issues there like create wrappers for free IPA migration documentation make all the time create pandas columns or remove a depreciated method create a Jupyter so I have a different box. idea that now. Oh, maybe <laughs> a better use <laughs> of my time. If somebody else could pick up the task of collecting fast usernames of FWD organizers, I can mm -hmm. take an action to set up a Taiga board on teams.fedoraproject.org um, to try to uh, organize some of our, our approach on this like good first issues and and that side does would that be helpful like that's that's using more of my skills on project management so it's like that work isn't boring i, I enjoy doing that work but i just want to make sure it's useful to someone else beyond me <laughs> but so, i feel like we will have to keep managing the diga board yeah yeah that's something that i can i can help do that's something i on the com op side, I can I can take that task of just keeping the board up to date. As long as everyone, other people are helping me use it and actually putting stuff there, that's fine. But I can help with the the day to day triage and looking at it once a week. Uh, or so like with that. the collection of data from the past FWD organizer, uh, I, for now I can take that action item and take care of it in the next week or in the next days. What do you think? Probably for timeline on, on getting the list of usernames, you can probably sync up with Alberto on that. Because basically the list of usernames is going to be used in the GOFP tool for um, uh, uh, my brain just like crashed. Mm -hmm. um, no more use the for you. Yeah, <laughs> I just like uh, it's it's been it's been a long past few days. <laughs> um, I'll, someone else can someone else can talk. I, I totally totally lost it. Yeah. <laughs> so, so I think then like Alberto said he will work on like updating the GOFP class. So that. And Nasir will work on collecting the list of usernames, so you both can coordinate together. And then maybe uh, just to make the plot, I think I'm not sure. Uh, I think once you have the list of usernames, we can create a ticket or just update in the ticket, and then anybody who has time, then they can take up that action item. Hmm to create the final GOFP plot of the organizers. What do you think? Wait, was that ComOps ticket or do you want to use the GOFP issue tracker? Mm. We can do the GOFP issue tracker to get more. Uh, yeah, I guess I guess the, the distinguishment is the Fedora ComOps one. There's a lot more people who are get emailed and get updates on that one gofp probably has much um it's probably gonna be like us it's gonna be core contributors people who are really working on it if we use the issue tracker there so we can do a good first issue we can do a good first issue in comops just open it because just taking that list and running it right yep and we can see if somebody wants to do it cool i'll mm. open a ticket placeholder right now so we don't lose track of it Okay, so then I think we have, we have everybody 
allotted like all the action items have been given to someone and the uh, one about the dni data i think we can discuss that so we have the data like basically what exactly we want to plot i don't think we can do that right now so maybe we can open another ticket for that one in comops just to keep it there and then once we have the data we can update on it like what we want to do justin will you open this ticket as well or do you want me to open it if you could i meant like another one. okay that would be super i'm opening okay. one to collect usernames so of fwd organizers for gofp script that's the issue mm -hmm. i'm opening mhm mm so wait action items yeah and i think apart from this do we also want to discuss like what things we want to put in the com block post like i thought in the beginning we said we were no yeah, yeah we did what <laughs> <laughs> okay so in the beginning for everybody who is new here uh so vipul had a question for folks who are interested in organizing fedora women's day or who have already organized so who have already organized we want to collect their username so that we can see uh, yeah so we want to collect their fast id so we can track their act, like activity and just plot it on a global map and then for um for this year's fedora women's day we will collaborate together with the dni team does that does that answer your question wait not sure anyway <laughs> I don't know what is going on in the chat anymore. <laughs> is oh, this... me, Vipul. Oh. Did you have too much sugar, Vipul? Oh, no. <laughs> so, this is. So, fast is going away. Then open a ticket to this ticket. Lemon. Yeah, is this free IPA? I think we had we can tr yeah so we can op open one uh, alberto so, do you I want to open this ticket or uh in the new repo for to repo opening okay uh, am i the only one who's uh you you are not audible i think your voice is breaking i cannot understand nasir Hello. Maybe I think the internet. I think Alberto cut yeah. out again. Yeah. Even. Okay. So okay. I just opened so the issue for. So we have thirty minutes, GFP. and I think for the last thirty minutes we have two options. So one suggestion is like Justin's, that we triage old comops tickets. and the other suggestion was what we discussed at the beginning of the session that we will try to make a com block post on some quick metrics for fedora just like maybe one about um some group like ambassadors and how how distributed they are over globe over the globe or like packages or something like that so do we want to discuss the com block post and what we want to put in it like which metrics or do we want to do the tra ticket trash should i i will create can i create a poll in this chat wait uh no it should be uh, general okay. one, not only for this chat okay uh, so, and i think on organizers and create one looks like it Maybe I will just say plus one yeah, if you want to get tried. That was one thing. Plus two. I was really yeah. interested in. Sorry, um, I, I'd love it if we can collaborate with CPE team on the um, on the replacement. That would definitely help us a lot, so we can focus more on the data work and less on the, yeah. the joys I of think... authentication systems. I think Alberto before cutting off said he will open a ticket there. so i'm just going to so 
so please just put plus one or plus two depending on what you want to discuss next for the 20 minutes hello hey yeah just Hi. to to go back on the fast thing if the uh, ticket to this i'm sure someone uh, will mm -hmm. i think they will just like open a pull request to you to the gofp project and that avoids you to go and read the doc and like uh, understand the new bits and pieces so uh, it's difficult for us to know every single application that currently using a fast client but uh, if you know about it just put tickets in this uh, in this repository and it's easier to to track awesome that's really helpful to know um so I guess on the poll results, if yeah. if no one has any other opinions, do we do some ticket triage? Awesome, Alberto. Thank you. I'll subscribe to that ticket now so I don't lose track of it. Cool. Um, so I mentioned the, it came to mind just really last minute on the ticket triage, but I was thinking like, oh, wow, we're opening a lot of new tickets again. And then I remembered, wait a minute, we've done this before. <laughs> so I figure maybe before we keep going ahead on new tickets, we can just do a quick pass on some of our really old ones and, um, just decide if it's like, is it worth keeping open? Even as I think the challenge is that there's a lot of great ideas in our tickets, but um, some of them are just too big or out of scope right now. So maybe we can just try to figure that out of like what makes sense to keep and what doesn't. I could share my screen if uh, that works, which I guess this will be a heavy, um, um, very heavy on the team. So if you want to jump off, we'll probably talk ticket triage and it'll be super meta. But if you want to hang out, you're also welcome to. Um, so the thing I think that would probably be helpful to start are the metrics ones, since we've been talking a lot about metrics. <laughs> um, maybe we can start with a, some of those and maybe wrap them into the current conversations. Um, so I see, oh, I, there's probably an easier way. No, that one. No, I can't do that. And we have metrics tickets, right? Um, so I'm going to focus on these ones that are over two years old. And actually, I would love to talk about that one because we keep getting new contributors who go to that ticket and then it gets stuck. Um, so instead of me talking, why don't we maybe start with um, 186 because this is one that gets a lot of attention from newer contributors. Um, which has always been an interesting idea, but I was just wondering if anyone has actually tested word cloud bot or if like it works at all. <laughs> so, so we used I, to run it. We used to run it on yeah. our Fedora community Twitter, but this was like four years ago. I can test it if you want, but I, I'm not sure if it, I need to check if it has any fast related things in the code, but otherwise I can test it if it works. I think that would be at least helpful to move that one forward because the issue we keep getting, like we could probably work with um, the infra team about getting hosting set up if we can do the, the work ourselves, but just to get somewhere to run it, maybe we can work on getting an AWS short term can you drop i, I think having that me? answer sorry to the repo yeah yeah yeah, yeah. so first, first thing it looks like oh, yeah first thing it looks like you need to port it to fedora messaging um and oh yeah well, actually it's and uh i don't know if you were in the cp uh, talk before but pingu's been working on a uh, application called toddlers that is a bit like uh, you know uh, like those um, function as a service or whatever so you get all the all the boilerplate to listen to messages and you can just like drop a python file or a, like your class or your function that does the processing mm -hmm. 
in, in this toddler uh, application. So that could become actually a toddler and then you don't have to think about hosting and consuming messaging and things like that. You just maintain the logic of, uh, of the consumer. And on the CPE side, I don't know if maybe maybe the cobbler piece would overlap here, but um, do you think this is something that if we came to the CPE team with like asking for an AWS instance, we could spin something up just to like play around? Yeah, I think uh, open the ticket and I don't see any reason why that, that would not work. Awesome. So I'll make a note of that. Um, the, the action item or the requirement on this ticket, I'm going to say is, um, um, oh, dependent on whether word cloud bot works, which will tag B on that one. So once we get a thumbs up or a thumbs down, as I, I think if it doesn't work, like it's a cool app and I like word cloud bot, but I don't know if it's worth a ton of time and labor on our part. Like I'd rather put that into G, Oh, toddlers. Now I've, I've definitely heard that. Um, uh, the French accent. <laughs> <laughs> All the jokes in the, in the chat yesterday. Um, so once we figure out if it's working, if it works, and we don't have to do a lot of work to get WordCloud oh. running, I figure like, hey, why not run it again? Because we just plug it into the existing places. But um, if it doesn't work, I, I would rather spend more time and energy on things like GOFP, because I think that's just a more interesting project right now. Um, but just the feedback, I think that'll be a good way. To yep. So I'll, I'll leave this comment there. I'll follow up and polish this stuff after our session. Um, the next one is the toolbox repo. So does anybody know what the toolbox repo was supposed to be other than like maybe me or Alberto? <laughs> does anyone actually know what we were talking about with that? I think I know a little bit. But it was made mostly like this collection of scripts, right? To collect different community metrics. Hmm. Yeah. So the toolbox, the idea behind this was across over the years, whether it was the fed message to Gorse work or the GOFP scripts. Um, we've had a lot of scripts that are doing data science metrics -y work just floating out there on Pagor, but um, they're not always easy to find. So the toolbox was the idea of like bringing all of those together into one repo and trying to manage them in one place. But this was two years ago and GOFP was literally like one Python script then. It looks a little bit more than it was before. Um, I'm just wondering if it makes sense to close this one and like reopen if it makes sense. But I don't know. I'm not really motivated to work on this one because I think GOFP is kind of like it's going to be enough on its own. But that's that's just how I feel. Curious if anyone else has opinions or if I should just close this one as stale. I guess it's really what is the value of centralizing? Like what is the value in the work of bringing all of our stuff together versus just leaving it where it is right now? Like is that work worth doing? Um, question and i don't know because <laughs> i'm not i'm not super tapped into where um our most active scripts are like when i opened this two years ago we had like three or four different repos but okay so i see the feedback in the chat that we can probably just do plus one to close so mm -hmm. if anyone disagrees with me um we can always reopen 2020 uh what was this old idea. I'll follow up with a comment with extra context after Nest. Um, oh, some of this is actually probably more relevant actually to what we were talking about. And this I think also came from Bex, which I think was also interesting context. Um, metrics visualization of packages. So this is a huge thing, but I'm just wondering if there is uh, okay, we don't really have a lot of discussion here. It's a pretty short ticket. It's a great idea, but I think we never really scoped it down. And also a lot of things have happened in the last two years. I think what Bex really wanted to know at the time was um, 
Uh, he wants to know what packages get updated every Fedora release versus ones that don't, and how long do new package reviews take? Um, I think those are the two. Oh, shoot. I also just noticed that we're at time and that people are starting to, to walk out or starting to leave. So we can try to speed through these last two, I guess, before we wrap up. Mm -hmm. um, so I guess the question is, and I don't know, but do we have tools that would make it easy to, do we have to build new tools to get this data or can we get this data with our existing tools? That is my question. That is what answers this question of, to me, whether we keep this ticket open or close it. Oh. And I don't like, I know we technically have it with fed message, but I don't think we really have tools. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. You know, for the updates, maybe you can use body, but uh, I don't know. I, mean, yeah, I guess you'd have to write some kind of script to parse the fed message data. So yeah. it is doable. I guess that was always the thing is we always have known you can do stuff with like this with our data. It's just a matter of scaffolding mm -hmm. and doing the work. Um, I like the idea, but I'm tempted to say we close this as stale. And if we want to revisit, we propose to break it up into smaller pieces. I think right now it's just too much work for folks who are working on all the all the other stuff too. So I'd be plus one to close personally. It's a great idea, but just too much for us to take on right now. Oh, and see you in a year. Good night, and thanks for thanks for tuning in through a power outage. Like what? What happened there? <laughs> I'm just like scrolling through the chat now, like wow. Okay. I think this might be a good. So uh, I don't know if if you struggle to know where you can get the data, that might be a, a good idea to maybe put a devil list uh, email thread or something like this. Like, oh, I want. I would. Uh, we would like to uh, get this type of information and just see uh, like the answers on the list of like that. Because sometimes... So let me raise you this question. Um, instead of closing it out and leaving it to dust where it'll be forgotten eventually, does it make sense if I open this ticket in an infra ticket for back for getting into a backlog somewhere or getting someone else to look at it? Like, should I just move this ticket somewhere else? Yeah, uh, I think... Um, I don't... Well, I think if you request uh, information, it well, you know it's going to be easier for someone to just reply. Oh yeah, you can actually maybe get this data by doing this, 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 this. Like kind of give you a roadmap than like having someone like maybe spending a day writing the script. So when I see this ticket, I think well for someone that uh, maybe knows Python or whatever, what's difficult in like. Uh, working on this ticket is just to know where I can get the data or uh, you know, because after the technical part shouldn't be too hard if it's like querying some APIs or consuming some message. I think it, it's something that you can do. The, the the knowledge that is missing here is where where or which system do I need to to query or where is the data available for for that. And I think this is maybe uh, something for maybe CP or more like the, the, the general like packager or devil list. I think people will have uh, some ideas maybe there. I open a new Fedora infrastructure ticket just to start a conversation and then we'll figure out where to take it from there. Sound good? Yeah. Or uh, Actually, uh, or just send an email to the infra list. I think the conversation are, are easier on the infra list than the ticket, because ticket is well, it's it's better to have a ticket at least in the infra project, something that we can quickly close or not, than rather than having something that stays open for years. <laughs> Big open, yeah. totally yeah. feel that. I probably wouldn't be having this conversation right now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so I will I will take the action to post to the infra list about this before I close the ticket. So at least there's a chance that it will go somewhere meaningful. Yeah, absolutely. Um, maybe just the last one before we 
wrap up for the afternoon, the evening, the morning, whatever time zone. Um, so this was a ticket that was also open. This is probably our oldest ticket. Oh my Lord, 2017. Um, which was also a great idea of tracking better, getting better info about Community Blog and Fedora Magazine, which do already have great um, dashboards of metrics. You just have to log in and go through the WordPress stuff to to uh, see it. Uh, yeah, see, like I'm having to like click through all of this. Like, so you can get all this really interesting data, but it's not in Fed message and it's not in anything that's a Fedora system. It's all local to the WordPress site um, once it loads. Uh, yeah, so you can get five years of data on all of our posts and how many views they get and where those views come from, like really interesting stuff. Fedora Nest, wow, that usually you never get things that show up there. Usually it's just always unknown. Yeah, anyways, um, so it's interesting data, but the challenge that came, that was with this ticket was getting it into like Fed message to um, understand, like I think Paul Freels reached out here with some questions and ideas of things that would be useful from the magazine side. But again, we just kind of st stalled out on that after the 2018 fad because it was just a huge amount of work because we had to bridge WordPress to Fed message. So the question I think is again, like, do we just close this as stale or do we kick it off as a, a thread somewhere else? Like this one, I don't know much because while it is interesting, I don't like, I don't know of an easy way to do the work that this ticket was asking for like unlike the the met packages one where we're like oh we know that data is there and we can find it i don't like again we kind we know we have that data but it's a lot harder to find now because now it's not in fedora anything so yeah and um, i just don't know I, I guess does it make sense to kick this anywhere or just close it i think yeah this one would be more difficult 